What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. Y'all already know what's going on. It's your boy Jacoby. So funny. Hey, enough, enough. I ain't even going to talk that much today because we got to get right into it, man. A reference track just dropped, man. A reference track just dropped from Metro. This beef, it seemed like it's getting fired up. If you guys haven't watched my, my reactions to all the beef and all the track, all the, uh, Beef tracks and all this other stuff that they've been throwing out, disses and all that crap. Y'all go to my page right now and look at my reactions to the diss tracks and everything from uh from all of them from what J Cole from K Dot to Drake to Ricky Rose Ricky Rose. But today is about to be a little different. So before we talk, let's get into let's just let's just listen to it. Let's listen to it. Let's listen to this reference track real quick. <laughs> By the way, this was leaked by Metro Boomin. I just pulled me off the phone, got a text saying, Run around my F and N like the whole hands. I said so much last time, it's hard to lead a bit. Then I did the whole kind of tech in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull up, she gon' mope it. My dog, you don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I'm back and forth, open on that, so just gon' dead it. See me when you see me, and if it's smoke, doggy, unleash it. Thick rockin' bitch, this my face, I'm not gon' be. Look at what I'm here, kiss my face, I'm too conceited. Said that bitch home, callin' out the dog, I'm too slime. Shotty ate me up on the first day, that's her rhyme. New fool fighter. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Guys, that was the reference track for Jumbotron. Obviously, you guys can tell that it wasn't Drake. It was actually Lil Yachty. So let's get into this. Let's get into this 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 conversation right now, man. Let's get into this conversation. I wouldn't have nothing to say about this. I wouldn't have nothing to say. But I'm gonna be completely honest with with my take right now. Yachty on his podcast has been talking a kind of a little type of way when it come down to Drake, when it come down to a whole little thing. I wouldn't really say nothing, but he, I remember when they on a podcast because I'm a big Yachty fan, but certain shit when what they be saying certain shit it kind of do feel weird in a sense, bro. Like I'm not I, even though I fucked with you, I like you. I'm not just going to be a blind, I'm not going to give you the blind eye, I'm not like a sheep, so I can fuck with you, and you can say something dumb, and I'm not going to fuck with you, like, that's just what it is, I'm not just one of these fans that just, a nigga can do whatever, and I'm just going to be standing by niggas, like, nah, one of his things, he was, they was basically talking about Drake, and he was basically talking about, like, how, like, Drake going to do this, Drake, like, like I, it's so puzzling when I, when people really know what's going on, and they, and they still fake it, you know what I mean, like, like, don't get me wrong. If that's his man, he gonna big him up and be like, "Man, Drake this, Drake that, Drake this." But people be asking him questions like, "Oh, if Drake did this, Drake did that." It's like these people be making you seem so feel so stupid. Like what? Like man, y'all just don't understand. And to come out and be like, "Bro, like all this shit should have been nipped in the bud years ago when fucking Meek Mill said that he that he didn't write like." Drake is big, so when it comes down to all this shit, bro, it really don't matter. Like, Drake is a big artist, bro. The niggas need to be 10 places at two different times, 10 different times. Like, it's like, when are you going to get time to actually sit down and write music, memorize music, and do all this other shit? So, like, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt of right anyway. It's just when people, like, come at your intelligence, bro. That's my whole thing, like... Like Yachty be talking like, like, at, like, like, bro. If y'all doing it, y'all switching songs. You giving them tracks and shit like that. Just be like that, like, bro. I, I don't know, bro. It, it's a few shit that like made me turn a, or a eye at Yachty when he was basically saying like, when well, he was putting the age on rap. It was basically like, if you're 
29 or give it up doing all this shit like bro like bro like chill out like there's so many people out here that's dope like a lot of the Detroit niggas are older folks they popped off when they was older they rapping they were like when people put age on hip hop it's, it, it gets me it pisses me off because we the only genre that like laugh at people like oh you're 28 you're 29 still trying to rap we go find it like bro just be like and, and it always be coming from some weirdo ass niggas bro like that's just like, bro, okay, you got you got lucky, folks. Like, don't be trying to shit on everybody else's dreams. Your dreams was to be a rapper and you became a rapper. I never understand people who do the same thing, their dreams come true, but they want to start shitting on the next person who's doing this, trying to do the same exact thing as them, bro. Like, that, that, that rubbed me the wrong way when he was explaining that. And just like the whole little shit that they got together, it was just like weird to me because I'm just like, bro. Why niggas just won't be niggas to just be real, bro? It's really hard to be real out here. I'm gonna be honest. The the this shit don't it don't matter to me, bro. Like I Drake made it even more hotter, bro. Like so the reference track don't really mean nothing. It's like when people try to come at your intelligence that re that really bothers me, bro. Like it's like, bro. Like come on, bro. Like now like, you don't even gotta like, bro. Like why? Why? Like okay, tell me this. Why can't a motherfucker say, oh? You worked on that track? Yeah, I worked on that track with Drake. Man, man, Drake, I was giving him, we was going back and forth. He's a man, he's a dope writer. We was working on stuff like this. We was working. Why can't, like, we do that with everybody else, motherfuckers. Like, bro, I sat down, I wrote with Beyonce. She was dope to work with. I did this. Like, it don't take nothing from them. But it's just for some reason, when it comes down, like, they're holding on to that shit so much. But, like, music is music, bro. People are going to, you want to get rich, I want to get rich, whatever the case may be. Let's sit down, let's work, whatever. They make it big when they do all this extra ass shit. Like, oh no, man. Oh my God. Man, Drake, I never see, man, everything. Like, he don't get help with nothing. Like, you sure he don't get help with nothing? I just sit there and reference track dropped in this. Like, you look stupid, bro. Like, I really want to see what, what Lil Yachty got to say about this reference track because it's just like, come on now, bro. Like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, like, I don't know. It's just like ever since Lil Yachty got super close with Drake, it just been coming like a, like, he, like he be looking down on everybody else. Like, like it just becomes so weird, bro. It's like, bro, like, like, bro, niggas is doing the same shit that you blew up doing, bro. Like, what is the problem, folks? Like, niggas just can't be a one hundred, bro. Just be you and be yourself. Like, you ain't gotta look at down at the next nigga or. Like, bro, like, you was once a lane, bro. <laughs> like, niggas looked at you as a lane, bro. Stop trying to look at everybody else as a lane, bro. Like, you was once a lane. Now that motherfuckers let you in the door and Lil bro you, it's like, now you want to look down on everybody else. I just don't understand. I just don't like it. I don't, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like I said, I'm a huge Lil Yachty fan. I just don't like when niggas do weirdo ass shit, bro. Like, bro, stop, like. You don't need to be a weirdo, folks. Like, you can be cool, bro. And that's that's what anybody, bro. Just be cool. Be yourself. Like, be yourself. But I don't want to keep talking about it, man. That was a reference track. Y'all let me know what y'all feel. Uh, how y'all feel below, man. This crazy, bro. Metro Boomin really feeling some type of way. We need to figure out what, what, what the fuck Drake did to Metro Boomin, bro. What the hell did he do? Did he knock up his mama or something? God damn, but... Yeah, to me, this reference track don't really mean anything. It just shows that all that extra shit be for no reason, bro. Like, everybody get help, bro. Stop trying to make it seem like niggas don't get help, bro. Like, I don't even know why it's a big thing. I just hate when people try to, like, try to get that, 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 get that, get that one off on the next motherfucker knowing damn well they doing the same shit. It's like, bro, don't, don't, if you know for a fact you doing it, that's what makes it more like grind, grinds my gears the most because like a nigga get in the back of the head know that he's doing the same thing as you and can be in your face acting like why the fuck is you acting you doing the same shit and then when it comes out it's like what the fuck you gonna say now bro like niggas just be corny but hey niggas just corny bro it don't matter how much you got cause you got money don't got money, bro. Niggas just cornballs, bro. It is what it is, bro. Other than that, this has been Jacoby. So funny. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, more videos. I don't know where y'all already know what's going on. We out. Peace. Peace.